when Hurricane Irma came, um, the, the storm surge forecast for our area said that there would be two meters of water. So we chose to evacuate along with millions of other people in South Florida. And it was a really long, difficult and nerve wracking experience, which fortunately turned out to not produce the kind of storm surge that we had feared, which is part of the question, right? So it's a, how do you get a better storm surge forecast? I'm Brian House, I'm a faculty member here at the University of Miami's Rosenstiel School of Marine and Atmospheric Sciences. We're standing in the SUSTAIN Air-Sea Interaction Laboratory. SUSTAIN stands for Surge Structure Atmosphere Interaction. And here we have a, a unique capability to study what happens at the air-sea interface in really intense hurricane conditions in a three-dimensional environment. No other facility in the world can match the capabilities that we have for doing this type of research. One of our main research findings is this behavior of the drag coefficient in winds up to, say, a Category 3 hurricane. It actually levels off when you get up to about 30 meters a second. That's now implemented in the modern forecast models. Now we want to take it to the next level and go up to Category 5. The Nortec staff and the engineers have been very uh, quick to respond and very uh, helpful in our attempts to improve the measurements we're making. We can't afford to do a minute of averaging to get a good current profile. We need to be able to do that pretty quickly and the Vectrino is, a, is an excellent instrument for getting a, a very rapid measurement of a velocity profile. The Aquadop is a, the, an in-situ measurement that we can use to, to make that observation within a few centimeters of the surface when we're using it in HR mode, which is as close as any in-situ measurement is, is able to do. And then we can use that to incorporate this information in a forecast model, which could be used for oil spill response, or search and rescue, could be used for uh, ecosystem studies and these types of things. The ultimate goal of our research here in the Air-Sea Interaction Laboratory at the University of Miami is to save lives by improving hurricane forecasts, in particular the hurricane intensity forecast, so we can know five days out within one category of intensity what a storm is going to be reliably. And that will allow us to better target evacuations to people that most need to be evacuated and not needlessly have large numbers of people getting on the road that don't need to be there.